In this video, we are going to integrate this function, which is integral of e to the power x cos x minus sin x. So first of all, we will expand this bracket. So we have integral of e to the power x cos x minus e to the power x sin x dx. Now we will apply integral on both ter both terms. So we have integral of e to the power x cos x dx minus integral of e to the power x sin x dx. And now we will suppose this integral is i. So in order to integrate this function, uh, we will choose one of this one of these integrals. So we will consider this integral which is integral of e to the power x sin x dx. Now in order to integrate e to the power x sin x we will use integration by parts. So first of all let u is equal to e to the power x and dv is equal to sin x dx. So the differential du is equal to e to the power x dx and here we will integrate both sides so we have v which is integral of dv and integral of sin x dx is minus cos x and now the formula of integration by parts is integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du now we, we will put the value of u v du and dv in this formula so we have integral of u which is e to the power x and then dv which is sin x dx then we will put the value of u and v so u is e to the power x and v is minus cos x then minus integral of v du so v is minus cos x and dv is sorry du is ex dx now the integral of e to the power x sin x dx is equal to minus e to the power x cos x and minus minus plus integral of e to the power x cos x dx now the above integral i is equal to integral of e to the power x cos x dx minus integral of e to the power x sin x dx now we will put the value of this integral over here so we have integral of e to the power x cos x dx then minus integral of e to the power x sin x dx is minus e to the power x cos x plus integral of e to the power x cos x dx so we will put this value over here so we have minus e to the power x cos x then plus integral of e to the power x cos x dx now after expanding this bracket we have integral of e to the power x cos x minus minus plus e to the power x cos x and minus plus minus integral of e to the power x cos x dx now these both integrals can be cancelled so we have e to the power x cos x plus c where c is the constant of integration